So we are at the Red Vitaya stand, and Red Vitaya, as you can probably see behind me, has been described as a Swiss army knife for engineers. Um, this little board can do an awful lot. Um, each one of these uh, inputs is uh, able of taking multiple channels of data at once, and what you have in here is a little ARM Cortex chip with an FPGA on it, um, and uh, if you are concerned that some of those things sound complicated, they are, and I also am with you, I don't understand how to use them that either. Um, but yeah, I'm here with one of the team from Red Vitaya. Would you like to uh, give us just a kind of a brief history as to how this came to be um, and what engineers are doing with it. Yeah, of course. So Red Pitaya is a very innovative product. It started as a Kickstarter project because we wanted to create a small board which can fit in your pocket and it can do many incredible things. So Red Pitaya can replace a stack of uh, very expensive lab instruments such as an oscilloscope, vector analyzer, network analyzer, LCR meter and so on for just a fraction of the price. So really you can carry it in your pocket, bring it to the lab or even work remotely with it. Uh, you can plug it into your computer or tablet or phone and you can just start measuring right away. It's really easy to use and it's also open source so you can program it to your own needs which is a huge benefit for our users. And actually we have so, so many different users around the world that use Red Pitaya for a variety of different things. Yeah. So either students learn it to learn FPGA programming or the basics of electronics. Um, we have a lot of hobbyists who do very interesting DIY projects. We have radio amateurs who build software defined radios with it. Um, and then we have huge industry um, companies who use it uh, to either integrate it into their own system or some other uh, cool things. Uh, one of the Red Pitayas is actually circling the Earth on the International Space Station. That's so cool, I yeah, no idea. Yeah. So that's a really cool fact. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's really used for a variety of reasons, also in research uh, by some really incredible institutes doing some advances in you know really incredible areas. So that's yeah. that's really really cool. And the fact that this uh, little thing, like it says, it, it, I guess Swiss Army Knife is actually a really good name for it because uh, yeah. when uh, when I first saw this, I wasn't actually aware that there were so many things that you could do with it just by reprogramming yeah. it. Um, so I guess one of the other questions is here at Embedded World, you have a couple of displays just up at the front here. Yeah. Um, and uh, so this, this one just here, there's a Peli case just here with a bunch of things inside it and a screen. Yeah. Do you want to quickly explain what's going on there? Yeah. Of course. So in this uh, first demo, we're showing a couple of different products uh, from Red Pitaya. So uh, in the case, you can see the, our bestseller and our first board, which is the STEM Lab 12514. Mm -hmm. So it's the 14-bit version, which up to this date is still the, our most popular board. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also see the Signal Lab, which is our most advanced product, which is was specifically made for more uh, sophisticated industrial applications. Mm -hmm. And it also comes in a ruggedized case, which is often necessary for oh, industrial. Sure. That's the one on the end. Then. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly, okay. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so, but in the last year, we have really been answering to the demand of users, which mm -hmm. have been requiring that uh, multi channel signal acquisition and generation. So they said, okay, two inputs, two outputs, that's not enough for us. We, yeah. we need more. Mm -hmm. So, we, what we have created, we think is very innovative mm -hmm. because we actually just stacked a few of these uh, staple boards, so yeah. the STEM Lab 12514, together. They are connected with the SATA cables mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, together form the X channel. Uh, uh, system. Oh, and that's that's the one that you've that's got in the Peli case in the back. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. We uh -huh. call it X channel because it can be whatever you want it to be. So yeah. it's kind of a build it yourself thing. Uh -huh. You can choose from up to, from four inputs, four outputs. So that means two boards, mm -hmm. up to sixteen inputs, sixteen uh, outputs. Yeah. So you can also start with some number and then build it up as you go if you need more. For so sure. I think this will really satisfy the users that need multiple, you know, uh, multi-channel um, signal acquisition or generation. That's really cool. It seems like yeah, it seems like an amazing, as you say, it seems like something that can be done. Uh, so many things can be done with it. Sorry, I'm tripping off my own yeah. words here. Um, so if people are interested in finding out about Red Pitaya, where do they find you guys online? So uh, redpitaya.com, that's our website. Uh, we also have a lot of really cool things on our website. So we have student projects, a lot of case studies, a lot of blog posts, guest blog posts, and so on. And also our YouTube channel, uh, which is really popular among students because we also offer free lessons for the basics of uh, electronics. So if you're willing to learn or if you're looking to find some uh, free video uh, examples which are step by step and shown in a really fun way, mm -hmm. that's also a nice uh, way to start your um, electronics journey. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for speaking to me today. Thank you. Thanks.